Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station. If you wish to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Well, I guess you've heard what has occurred to Jonathan Thomas and Gus. But just in case, we'll find the place where it all began. You see, Jonathan Thomas was a wee little tad who was never too good or never too bad. And Gus was the bestest of all teddy bears. And one night, when they went away upstairs to bed, after his dad had said good night, and after his eyes had closed up tight, and two little elves slid down and looked around. Then Gus, that's the teddy bear, he opened his eyes, and what a surprise to see such guys from the moon. And then right soon he growled and growled and sort of howled till the elves were afraid and wouldn't have stayed for a million trillion dollars. And they turned about faced and away they raced and Guz, he chased them up to the skies. And Jonathan Thomas, he heard their cries and opened his eyes and almost died with surprise and cried, Guz, come back! And then without stopping to pack, not even his sneakers and wearing nothing at all but just his sleepers, he chased after Guz. And he ran and ran, as only little boys can, until he came to the moon. But it seems he got there a little too soon. Because the terrible squibbubliums had broken the laws and kidnapped poor old Santa Claus. And then a merry old soul who was old King Cole held a court of the very worst sort. And Jonathan Thomas, he got the blame. Of course, he tried to explain that he just had came. <laughs> That's not good grammar, but it rhymes with the line. And they told him they'd scold him and set him to boil and feed him two doses of castor oil. Unless he minded the laws and brought back poor old Santa Claus. Poor Jonathan Thomas didn't know what to do. But then, neither would you, if you were not you, but instead were Jonathan Thomas. I want my mommy and daddy and good. Please, Mr. Man in the Moon, I want to go home. My goodness gracious, <laughs> How can you go home when you haven't found Santa Claus yet? But I don't know where he is. Oh, my, what a silly thing to say. Of course you don't know where he is. You couldn't find him if you did. How can you find someone unless someone's lost? You don't have to find the answer to that question until after you found Santa Claus. Oh, King Cold said that the terrible Squeebubulums had kidnapped Santa Claus and taken him to the land of Squeebubble. If I go there to find him, maybe they'll kidnap me, too, and gobble me up. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, that's right. Oh, but I don't want to be gobbled up. I want to go home. Yeah, oh, my gracious. There's someone at the door that makes me so sore I could rip and roar till my coat was tore. And what's more, what's... what's quick, quick, quick. Think of another word that rhymes with door. I don't know. Of course not. I don't know rhymes with blow, show, go, and joe. Oh, now it's a sin, and I'll have to say, come in. Oh. Oh, so it's you, is it? Of course, it's me, as you can see. I'm little Bo Peep, and I've lost my sheep. And I can't find them, really, I can't. I've left them alone, really, I have. But they didn't come home. Have you seen them? Oh, of course not. Oh, thank you very much. Goodbye. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Seems like everything on the moon is lost these days. Yesterday, Mr. Squeezel lost his temper. He hasn't found it yet. The day before that, the grandfather's clock lost an hour. Yuck! And he still hasn't found it. If this keeps up, we'll all be lost pretty soon. And then where will we be? That's what I want to know. Where will we be? I guess we'll be lost. Yeah, well, why, of course, that's right. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I? Oh, but come, come, come. We'll have to hurry. Or else we'll lose time. We'll have to find that, too. Oh, by the way, I've got a surprise for you, Jonathan Thomas. Oh, I like surprises. What is it, if you please? I just decided that I will go with you to find Santa Claus. Quote, if we both go, it'll only take half as long. Unquote. Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. Because I would have been afraid to go by myself. Oh, fiddlesticks. You don't have to go by myself to reach the land of Squibubble. You have to go by the Rock Candy Bridge, over the Merry-Go-Round River, <laughs> and then through the Canyon of the Three Dwarves. Is it very far, if you please? Oh, not so very. Only a thousand miles or so. Why? 
because I'm little and you're big and my legs aren't as long as yours and my legs get tired quicker than anything. Now, they couldn't get tired quicker than anything because anything is always tired. And besides, we're not going to walk, we're going to ride. Oh, that's nicer than anything. Otto? Of course we ought to. If we didn't auto, we wouldn't have to, would we? And we'd better hurry or we won't find Santa Claus in time for Christmas. Yep. Come on, Jonathan Thomas. First, we have to go to the stable and get Gorgonzola. Who? Who's he? Who's? Why, he's my horse, of course. My beautiful horse. What else in the world could he be? The only one who can always run and never get tired of me. <laughs> yeah. Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. A cheesy sort of a name. Yeah, yeah. He's got a red coat and he can run like a goat. Yeah. And sky blue is the color of his mane. Gorgonzola. 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 Here we come. Gorgonzola. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And there is Gorgonzola. Yeah, yeah. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, that's the funniest kind of a horse I ever saw. Not so loud or he'll hear you and get his feelings hurt. But he's the funniest color I ever saw. He's red and blue and green. Of course he is. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of the horse of another color? Oh, yes, because my daddy says that to my mommy sometimes. He says, that's a horse of another color. Well, there he is. That's Gorgonzola. Now, come over here so you can meet him. Does he talk? Does he talk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a silly question. Of course he talks. Gorgonzola, I want you to meet Jonathan Thomas. Hiya, J.T. How, how do you do? I do as I please. And I don't give a sneeze because I... Can be, or I'm colossal. I'm stupendous, as you can plainly see. Oh, yes, sir. Of course. Oh, you better stand back, Jonathan Thomas. He's going into his dance. He does that every morning. Oh, that'll be fun. I've never seen a horse dance. Oh, a gorgon soul is my name. A cheesy name, but just the same. I'm a beautiful horse to see. For I'm stupendous, I'm colossal. I put all others to shame. Ah, cha-cha-cha-cha. For I'm a gorgeous horse, which you can see. And Gorgonzola is my name. Ah, ah boy, oh boy, oh boy. How do you like that, huh? Cha-cha. Oh, that was very nice, if you please. Nice. That was colossal. It was super stupendous. Cha-cha. Yes, sir, Mr. Gorgon. Well, well, all right, all right, all right. It's time for us to leave. For anybody knows, you can't go anywhere unless you leave. I'm ready, if you please. Say, where was we going? Wait, don't you know? Way to the land of Squee Bubble, of course. To rescue Santa Claus, aren't we, Jonathan Thomas? Yes, sir. Oi, to the land of Squee Bubble. Why, that's moida. That's what it is. Plain moida. Da, 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 da. Why don't people tell me these things? Ah, cha cha. Didn't you know, Mr. Gorgonzola? I didn't know nothing. I ain't saying it's moida. That's what it is. Nothing but plain, unadulterated moida. Da, da, da. Oh, my goodness. Now, listen, let's stop the arguing, Gorgonzola, and quit stalling in that stall. Well, you've got to hurry or we'll be late. And there won't be any Christmas then this year. Oh, no. Okay, I'm with you. Put JT on me back and let's go. Well, all right, Jonathan Thomas. Climb up on Gorgon's older's back. Now, sir, we're about ready to go here. Now, come on, up you go there. That's oh. it. Now, leg over. There, down. That's fine. Oh. Oh. Don't let me fall off, will you, Mr. Gorgon I said, hang on. Here we go. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we're off, off to the land of Squeak Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll bubble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squee Bubble. We must hurry because we must find Santa Claus or there'll be no Christmas this year. And things will be sad and much horribly bad and people will cry. Oh, dear soul! So we're off to the land of Squee Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll bubble. 
We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squid Bubble. We're off to the land of Squid Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll hobble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squid Bubble. Well, there they go. Jonathan Thomas and the Man in the Moon and the beautiful horse of another color, Gorgonzola. Down the road, which leads to the terrible land of Squeebobble. But do you think they'll find Santa Claus in time? Well, we certainly hope so, don't we? And we'd better listen to the next episode and find out, hadn't we? Don't forget. (laughs) 